So this is a quick demonstration of uh, performing sun exposure and shadow studies within SketchUp. Uh, I'm using LightUp here to generate those uh, studies. So we have a city context and we have some proposed buildings. And I'm choosing uh, daylight sunlight, so uh, daily sunlight, which is going to show us uh, when I start it. That's showing on this particular day, um, which is the 27th of August, um, what the entire day's uh, sunlight falling on this um, location. And as I scrub the date, it's showing the entire uh, integration of um, all the sunlight um, for that particular day. Um, I can um, check it, I can sh see that I've got uh, um, an hour there of um, direct sunlight. Um, I can also change this bracketing. So if I set this up to 50% to 100%, it's showing all the areas which are below 50% of uh, the daily sunlight on this particular day. Um, and again, I can clip and I can see that I've got six hours, four hours uh, of sunlight for any particular location. So it really allows you to get in and explore um, and then go back into SketchUp, make changes, um, and uh, you know, uh, tweak your, your proposal. Um, and you get instant feedback of um, the sunlight on this particular uh, area um, calculated um, over the whole day. The other piece you can do is to switch to insulation, um, which is how much sun power is landing on this particular uh, uh, model. Uh, so again, I can set the date to be uh, 13th of July here. And um, when I start, uh, it will give me the calculation of exactly for every single surface how many, so here I've got 8.37 kilowatts per, per square meter per day, um, on, whereas between the buildings you've got 5.2. Um, and again, I can uh, use the bracketing to uh, change. So this is between uh, 4 kilowatts and 8 kilowatts. And so you can see the areas which are falling below that 4 kilowatt um, insulation uh, threshold. Um, and because you're in SketchUp, it means you can really get in and uh, explore this while changing the uh, date. So if we go back into um, into uh, winter, and I just change that because it's now below four. We, we're right. So if we set it to uh, between uh, zero and four, for example, um, you're getting the areas in January or uh, the third of February. Sorry, um, that are um, uh, within that within that uh, uh, bracketing, again we can right we can click and uh, get a, a uh, measurement there on the uh, roof of that building there, um, and I can change the the bracketing to uh, reveal you know keep keep areas that uh, I may want to give more attention to, and of course I can uh, instantly export these. Uh, results as images for my report.